Hello and welcome to Technicforce Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can convert text to speech in Voisey. To get started, let's navigate to the text to speech section. Here you will see all the previously converted text tasks in a simple data table format. Now let's add a new text to convert so that you can understand how it works. To add a new text, just click on the Add New button. Here, under the name of the tasks, try to put some meaningful name that is related to the tasks instead of a name like test or demo. So, you can recognize it later on easily when you come back to it. Then select the service you want to use to convert your text to voice. I will choose Google Translate. Then you need to select the language of the text that you are going to provide Voisey in the next step to convert. I will choose English India, and then the services that you have chosen, like Google Translate, will show us the various voices that they have available to read the scripts for us. So, you will notice that they are separated into both natural and WaveNet versions, and the difference between them is that the WaveNet version is basically the same as the natural version, just enhanced with artificial intelligence. So, for example, here is the preview of Natural 2B. Artificial intelligence is the biggest revolution in the history of mankind. And we can compare that to Wavena B. Artificial intelligence is the biggest revolution in the history of mankind. So, you can hear that WaveNet voice, which is just a bit more polished. For now, let's just choose WaveNet B Mail and click Next. In this step, we will input our content. If we already have our content in text format, we can just copy and paste it here. Alternately, if we have it in a text file, we can drag and drop the text file here. I don't have my text prepared in a text file, so I will just copy my text and paste it here. Voice is like having your own voiceover agency. Well, you're not only an agent with all these different voiceover artists, but you're also a voiceover director. You can instruct the LingoScribe voiceover performers how you want this text delivered, and that's what all these modifiers are up at the top here. So before we get into all of these, let's just submit this one so we'll have a baseline to compare with. Okay, and now that gets put into our pending status. Let's go back to adding new while we're waiting. It only takes a minute, but while we're waiting, we'll just create a new task here, and for equal comparison purposes, we'll stay with Google, and again, we'll select the same voice. And go to next and now we'll paste in our same content again. And this time we'll add some emphasis so when we want to add emphasis to our script what we have to do first of all, is select the whole text and then we can click the speak button. And that encapsulates all this text here between these tags. And these tags are what Google is using to apply the various emphasis features on this text. And for those of you that are curious, these tags that look a lot like HTML are actually called SSML. And that stands for Speech Synthesis Markup Language. So you're actually doing a little bit of coding here, even though Voisey makes it so easy. You'd never even know it. Okay, so now that we've got all this text encapsulated within the speak tags. We can now start giving Google some directions on how we want the various sections of this script performed. So, for example, we might choose the word Technic Force. And here under the emphasis icon, we can select that. And we can choose Strong so that the word Technic Force will be emphasized by the reader. Let's do the same thing for Voisey. But maybe instead of Strong, maybe we'll just set that for Moderate. And just so we can show it all off. Let's choose the word Pleased. And we'll set that for reduced. Now, already, I'm using way more tags than you would probably ever use in a normal script, so I know that this is going to came out sound weird, but I'm doing this just to demonstrate the software. So now that we have all these strange emphases tagged, let's go ahead and highlight our comma and let's put a break here so that we can catch our breath for a second here. And there's actually a couple of different ways we can do that, either by using the break button or by using the pause button here as well. So if you want to, you can just select a comma and insert that pause. And there's the tag indicating the pause. Now, there's also a variety of phrases in text that have the potential to confuse a robotic voice artist, and that usually comes in the form of numbers and acronyms. So we have this keyboard icon here with say as, and this lets us tell the computer that we specifically want a word either spelled out, numbers read in cardinal or ordinal numbers. 
So this would be like a regular number, so for example, this one here, 100 plus, I don't want how the robot might get that wrong, but if we just wanted to make sure, that they got that right we would put cardinal there, and then that way the robot knows to say, 100 plus. Now, compare that to this number here, which is first. And we all know that that says, first. I could see how maybe a robot might read that as, once. So, to make sure that they don't read this as, once, let's go ahead and call this an ordinal number. Ordinal numbers are numbers that go in order, so, first, second, third, etc. So, we can indicate that, first, is ordinal. Also, we've got an acronym here, AI. So, we could test this by removing the periods here and then highlighting AI. And then to ensure that the computer doesn't call it using I technology, we could tell it to say, this is spell out. And another kind of fun feature. Excuse the expletive here, but I wrote this in specifically so I could show this feature. Any expletives that you want to have bleeped out, you can actually set that as an expletive, and that will have the computer beep this out as though it was censored. And one more place where we can inform the computer what to say here is with dates. And it's usually a best practice to make sure that your dates are separated by slashes. So, for example, I've got the 11th month by the 5th day by the 20th year. Here we can separate those with slashes. But rather than having the computer reading 11 slash 05 slash 20, we can highlight this and under the date icon, we can instruct it that this is actually month day year. Okay, so that's a lot of different modifiers in a very short script. You probably won't ever use that many, but like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. So, let's go ahead and submit, and we'll be able to compare it against our other one. So here's our first one, our standard one, without any emphasis. Let's go ahead and click the download button, and this will open the audio file in a new tab on our browser. Technic Force is pleased to announce Voisey, today's most advanced multilingual translation app, with the ability to quickly translate, transcribe, or voiceover in 100 plus different languages using AI technology. It's bleeping amazing, and your first choice for content localization. Get it on 110524. Okay, so we can hear some of the mistakes that the standard voice artist read because we didn't give it the proper directions for emphasis. So, we're not gonna save this one. Let's go back, and we'll just refresh our page because it only takes a minute. Usually, if you see that a status is still pending and it's been a while, just refresh your page. It probably just has to reload. Because there it is, we can see. So, let's go ahead and check that one. Technic Force is pleased to announce Voisey, today's most advanced multilingual translation app, with the ability to quickly translate, transcribe, or voiceover in different languages using AI technology. It's amazing, and your one ST choice for content localization. Get it on November 5th, 24. If this is the copy that you want to save, all you got to do is just hit save on your keyboard, and you can save this directly as an mp3 to your downloads folder. So, that's how you can convert ant text to speech by using Voisey. Here in the dashboard, you can see the record of previously created tasks in text to speech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.